Welcome to the 2024 Spanish Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sogan, and I'm joined once again by Captain Ajax. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. Well, <laughs> we actually mm. see anyone. <laughs> very, very good to hear you. Good to hear you instead, maybe. Maybe I should say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, another, another exciting weekend. Yep, hopefully, hopefully. Because, uh, yeah, we had a really, really good race last time out in Canada. Obviously, with uh, with the changeable conditions helping that. For Spain, I think there's some little rain forecast for Sunday. So, could spice things up. Uh, <laughs> it could be exciting. It could be exciting. Yeah. Um, you know, but, the Euros as well, you know, it would yeah. be amazing. Indeed. Yeah, there's a lot of sports events going on around. Uh, so there's a lot of things to watch, basically. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Yeah, indeed. All right. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to say that straight up um, into the predictions. So I switch the, switch the thingy. So it shows a spreadsheet yeah, and I don't forget yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not going to be very hopeful for, for this Grand Prix. I'm actually going to go very pessimistic. That's a bit of a spoiler, but yeah, I'm not really thinking like this is gonna be an exciting Grand Prix for some reason. Yeah. I just uh, yeah. I just have the feeling in my in my head for some reason. Anyways, um, I'm gonna start with today with the predictions, or do we want to talk about some news? I don't think there are any, honestly. I think the only news is that apparently science should be moving, as he says that you should be moving in the next week, oh, yeah. maybe, but he's not decided. Yeah, that should uh, yet. that should be uh, that should be announced soon. Uh, yeah, probably Williams. It's everything is leading to it at this point. Yes, yes. And then um, the other one was uh, looks like uh, Newey are trying their hardest to get. Uh, sorry, Aston Martin are trying their hardest to get Newey. Yeah, uh, the... so we shall see on that front. Just rumors thus far. This yeah. week rather than actual concrete news, but. You know that's how the summer the summer really works in F one. So yeah, I feel like there's gonna be like a day like uh, within the next two weeks, but everything is gonna blow up like like five driver changes per day. <laughs> Just I remember yeah. that that's what it felt like when Vettel left. Yeah, indeed. I, I feel like something yeah. similar will happen. Maybe uh, obviously we have a lot of drivers already signed up for next year, but. Yeah, no one, no one expected Hamilton to move to Ferrari, so we can expect anything at this point. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, just imagine like after Spain, there's an announcement that Max Verstappen is going to Mercedes. <laughs> Something <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. There's only a one week gap in there as well. So we'll yeah, be, that would be that would be crazy. But I, 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 yeah, I feel like if that decision ever happens i feel like that's going to be like towards the end of the season because you know obviously max wanna wants to have the team balanced at this point if if i was max i would wa- wait till the decision like uh, with the decision uh till the end of the year basically um yeah, definitely, definitely you just you, yeah. you can wait as long as you want yeah because there's no guarantee that red bull will remain well not just dominant but among the best teams uh come in 2026 because the regulations especially the uh the engines change completely and uh and there's this rumor that mercedes might come out with the best engine once again which uh could be well um quite, uh, quite uh, exciting for max to maybe switch on um obviously if he does i hope he does for next year already and uh gets next to russell for 20.5 because that would mean that we would get at least a guaranteed title fight, because, uh, yeah, there would be no dominant drive at Red Bull, and uh, that would be very exciting. Unfortunately, <laughs> we kind of have the driver Championship already sealed, uh, not even halfway through the season. Constructors still kind of open, but, yeah, um, uh, as I'll, I'll explain my predictions, I, I don't really feel too optimistic about that. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. not it doesn't look like an exciting one. I think it's the track, really. Yeah, uh, super yeah the, the, cars more than others. Yeah, the, this track just looks like the the track that's perfect for Red Bull, like every single, <laughs> every single it's time. It's just yeah. 
not a track where many overtakes happen either. That no. last straight, they have made changes. Obviously, the final corner being a lot longer um, and more exciting, but uh, it just is so. But it's because the first corner isn't a heavy break corner, yeah. so barely any moves happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you're right. You're right. Yeah, that's uh, that's maybe hope that it doesn't. But yeah, I, I, I also. I'm not enthusiastic about this Grand Prix, but to be honest, I think even the last three Grand Prix, I've always been predicted to step in first, so uh, uh, I'm at least keeping to my word and uh, keeping it very boring. Yeah, at least it's, it's bringing your points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, well, it depends on the race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I went full Lebanon mode in the last year. <laughs> so. Yeah. So yeah, I gotta I gotta be safe this this time out. So yeah, I'm gonna be pessimistic, and I'm gonna uh, hopefully grab a lot of points to catch up. Um, you can start with qualifying, but I'm gonna ask you to start with P5. We're gonna go from P5 to P1 this time. Okay, exciting, exciting. Okay, uh, P5. I am going to go for uh, uh, all of science. Um, I'm going to put Carlos Sainz there. I, I, I said it's going to be boring. It's going to be really, really boring, let me tell you. Um, and yeah, I think Sainz will end up in P5 in the end. Very quick in that car, but I think there'll be four drivers quicker than him. Yep. Uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty similar to mine, although I kind of switched Sainz last second. Actually, I'm not going to put it in my top five, I think. But maybe I will, I don't know. Uh, P5. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, did you see that? No, I didn't. I haven't. Okay, that was probably on my screen only. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go with Lewis for P5 in Spain. Good decision. Good decision. Yep. Um, he obviously was very quick in uh, in Canada. Unfortunately, couldn't quite deliver in qualifying, and therefore only P4 in the end in the race. But it's looking promising. Maybe Luz can turn his season around, and now that the car says this car looks competitive, maybe it will motivate him to well, start bringing in performances again that we know that he, he's capable of. Uh, and yeah, I have picking, I'm thinking that he will beat Russell this weekend. Good, good. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a good decision. I was thinking about the Mercedes as well, because uh, they are bringing out grades. They said they don't expect to be that quick in Spain. They, I mean, they're bringing upgrades to every track, so uh, that shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> um, they said they don't expect to be that quick in Spain, but, uh, you know, I think, think based on the, the last performance and just how much better they've been getting across the last few races, the, uh, the P5 is definitely a good shout. As I say now, I'm going very boring. And up next for me is going to be Oscar Piastri because I think he's a very good qualifier. He's done really well in qualifying in the last few so few races. Hasn't done uh, so well in the race. Obviously, a second in Monaco, uh, but I'm thinking Imola. He uh, struggled, and then um, actually, it's the opposite in Canada where he can he can qualify very well, but uh, managed to get up uh, uh, up with the rest of them during the race. Um, so yeah, I think I think Piastri is a good shot P four, and if it wasn't for the other three, he'd be yeah. I'm going for a very very boring uh, other three. Yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll I kind of know which three drivers you pick. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, uh, I'm gonna go with Port Charles in P four. Um, I um I don't feel like this track will necessarily suit Ferrari. I think they will will battle with Mercedes for for the third quickest car. So that's what I'm picking for, for P4, at least Charles. And yeah. Um, yeah. Charles, third P4, it's, uh, it's my bridge. Uh, right. Next up, I'm going to say. I'm going to put Leclerc in P3. Uh, I, uh, I don't think the Ferraris will be not quick this weekend. I think they'll be a lot quicker than they were in Canada, for example. But I do think they'll, uh, they won't be as quick as the McLarens uh, and uh, one Red Bull, because we all know that the other Red Bull will definitely not be in the top five. So, yeah, I'm going for, uh, for Leclerc in P3. Okay. Okay. Um... 
<laughs> we're switching the year as going to be piastri so uh <laughs> we're just uh switching them around um yeah uh piastri extremely quick in qualifying obviously this season uh i don't really remember the head to heads but the gap between him and lando must be like less than half a tenth i think they're extremely close as a driver pairing uh piastri has qualified in like the top four in the last three or four qualifyings like he, he got p2 in imola p2 in uh in monaco and obviously p4 in canada with it being one tenth of a second behind pole position yeah piastri definitely could be very close to pole position again in p3 yeah finish out finish out all right i i think our top two are going to be exactly the same i'll go for norris in p2 i think the mclaren probably seeks the strap better than the Ferraris, and I will put him in P1, but uh, I've always forced myself to put the same person in P1 every time. All right, all right, again, the kind of aggressive, uh, Lando P2, uh, same reason as Piastri, just McLaren is probably going to be uh, the second best car. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, uh, and third place is definitely going to be Perez, it is the second. I'm sure it's the same for you, unless you're about to shock me incredibly. Okay, my pole position, Kevin Magnus. <laughs> so, you know, no, okay, Max. I'm going. I'm going past this thing. Max is going to get a crunch a lamb or how it is called. Just uh, win everything. Let every practice session by a second and just win. Uh, Max, yeah, pole, pole position. Fair enough, fair enough. What a, what a, what a exciting Grand Prix. I mean, you know, excited. I'm actually excited about your predictions. I think my prediction is a bit more boring. I do like yours. Um, I actually feel like yeah. yours are more exciting because for me, like, there's going to be a battle leading behind Max. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I don't know. I, 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 I like the Hamilton being in there, I reckon. I reckon that's what. And I, I think... I honestly think Piastri could maybe give Norris more of a go than the Perka, as long as uh, the McLaren is not there. But oh well, we'll see. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm guessing you want to do the race in the same route. Yep, P5 uh, for you. I am going to change it a bit. I'm going to put Russell in P5. Uh, oh. Because I think you'll shout at Hamilton. It did remind me that Mercedes have been good. I don't think they'll be at the front, but I think they'll have enough race plays to at least get one of the three hours. Right. Interesting. Um, interesting. Now, my mirror's predictions are going to be uh, less hopeful for Mercedes for some reason. I'm going to put Carl Sainz for P5. There you go. We swap. <laughs> our, uh, hopes. Yeah. <laughs> We're going very boring this. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's it's F one. We've yeah. had a, we've had we've been treated the last few weekends. And maybe we'll be treated this weekend. We yeah. won't know until it happens, but uh, no. I'm hopeful. I'm definitely hopeful at least. Uh uh I'm gonna go for an occur in P uh basically i'm going to do exact same as your predictions from now on except russell different uh, not spoilers but uh, there you go all right um <laughs> we might end up with the same at the four bring charles and people he stays people i don't feel like he's gonna he's gonna challenge the mclarens um in race space uh, max is gonna be in his own league so yeah uh ferrari Four or five, so yeah. um, beating the Mercedes, but still not great. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, uh, right, yeah, I basically support what I'm going for now. And I'm going to put Piastri in P3, uh, which I'm guessing you're going to do the same. I feel like our top threes are, are going to be like C. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, should, we just, should we just fill it out? Yeah, yeah, should just, we just fill yeah. It out? I think we should. Yeah, there yeah. Go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Very excited, growth. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we are hopeful. We are hopeful. But at least this gives us more time to talk about yeah. 
The first is not. The most exciting part of the Grand Prix. <laughs> Who gets the fastest lap? All right. Uh, um, you, you go first. Yeah, you go. Okay, I was going to go for, I reckon, Hamilton. Because I reckon it'll be Russell, then Sykes, then Hamilton. And Hamilton will have a big gap to the Astons. Uh, that allows himself to pit. And then... Uh, and then uh, he'll, he'll get the fastest lap near the end. Okay. Axel Stappen. <laughs> yeah, a, a safe pick. Uh, not like not the Small. most safe, as he hasn't been getting the many fastest laps recently. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be a very dominant win. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I'm fine with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive. Gee. I'd say we've been quite boring so far. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just not sure what he's going to be. Hmm. Maybe I'd go out there. You know what? I usually go with them for most impressive, so I'm going for them for least impressive this time around. I think Toro also going to have a, a difficult weekend. It's, it's wow. A shout. Wow. Random shout. I don't know why. I just think. That's what's gonna happen. They put me in a very difficult position because that was my pick, <laughs> and now I don't know. When, I don't know if I want to pick the same because I I need the points over you. So I should probably go for a different team, but I also feel like they're gonna be the least impressive team. I I, I guess I'm gonna go for Williams. You don't yeah. want to lose. For yeah. Like, yeah, but um, do you think they'll be least impressive? Then you're gonna lose. Well, no, no, I'm not going to speak speaking. Williams. Yeah. Actually, I actually feel like Williams is going to be very good this weekend, but uh, this is difficult. Ooh, I wait. wish Albon got as much as he should have got in Canada. I'm still very sad about that. Um, I just like every single team doing well. This is this is the problem. No, not well, but just where they expected yeah. to finish. If you get this literally feels like it's going to be the most boring race we get ever. You know, I have to pick like a team that that could be the least impressive in, in the conditions that every team finishes where they should. Um, that's that's very difficult. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't My know. Actual I, bold prediction as well is incredibly not boring, but like. Just dull, is what I'll say. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I actually don't. I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for reverse jinx. I'm going to go for Haas, and hopefully they'll win the race. <laughs> I hope so as well. I hope so as well. Like a uh, Hulkenberg dub. It's impressive driver. I'm going to go with a cheeky little one on so. I reckon, you know, it's been Perez a lot recently, so maybe I should pick Perez in terms of continuing to be boring. But I will go Alonso just because uh, I think he was uh, he was the least impressive in Imola, probably. Uh, arguably. I don't know. He's he, in Canada, he had quite an impressive weekend, but beyond that, I think he's been uh, struggling as of late. And he might finish behind Stroll again. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened last year as well. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty decent prediction, I gotta say, because, yeah, he, he got, made a mistake in qualifying and qualified behind Stroll and finished the race, like, half a second behind Stroll in the end. Um, yeah, definitely could happen again, I'm, but I'm going for a different driver, I was like, I cannot go with the same drivers, I am go, gonna go with... George Russell, and I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for George. Okay. Um, yeah, no, no, I, I like it. I like it. No, no actual reason. Just I uh, feel like he's gonna be outperformed by Hamilton this weekend. Serial bottle as a blind. Yep. That's gotta be said. Yeah, definitely, true. definitely bottled a few, uh, a few things. Let's say. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. Up next for me is most impressive team. And again, I just don't feel like anyone really stands out. (laughs) 
Oh god. Um, I think McLaren's could maybe snatch the win. So I'm gonna go there. Maybe cover two bases. Uh, just because again, I don't expect anyone to do that. <laughs> okay. Um wow. I honestly I, I could see so many teams doing well, but which which team do I pick? It, uh, it's difficult. I have like I have like three teams in mind, and I cannot uh, kind of decide between them. Um, there's a thing. If if I would go for Williams, I would I would need Amon to score points, but that would be the bare minimum because we also need like Sergeant in the top fifteen, and uh, I'm not confident in that even with the Williams upgrade. So I'm gonna go with. Alpine and uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope I won't regret this and they just won't like I double DNF. Thinking, though, so I think that's a good idea. Uh, I just feel like they're gonna upward us, uh, how is it called, like upward whatever of momentum. Uh, they're scoring points uh, consistently now with both drivers, for example, in Canada. So, I definitely could happen again on a track that should suit them more. Uh, based on the car characteristics, at least. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, right, my most interested driver. I'm just going to go for some rogue shouts. I don't think these will actually happen. I'm going to go for Hamilton, just in case he had another good weekend. He had a good weekend last time. Uh, just by saying it was one of his worst weekends, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for him. This is actually like a pretty cheeky uh, like prediction because imagine he yeah. imagine he has a like a contact on like in the middle of a race has to pit uh, or in the end of a race has to pit for new tires and new front wing puts in the fastest lap and finishes outside the points <laughs> <laughs> like like that would be a, a, like incredible prediction like the actual. That, so. Amazing. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't actually happen, but <laughs> it would be insane to think. But actually, I think the most impressive. I, I thought it was lean, pretty impressive. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, that was a that was a brain brain lag for me. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> most impressive mm-hmm. driver for me. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, I don't know, whatever. Alban uh, gets gets a a cheeky P9 finish, uh, holds everyone up like he likes to do. Uh, maybe pulls up a great overtake as well. Uh, Alex could I could definitely see a good weekend for Alex. Yeah, yeah, uh, I agree, uh, and I hope he has a good weekend. I actually wanted to go for Max, but I feel like if he would get a like a grand slam, you actually wouldn't give me a point. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, I went with Alvin. Uh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and then I guess extra bold prediction, which I said I also think is going to be boring. Um, I'm going to predict 19 drivers for this. It's only more or any less than, well, no points. So. Imagine the pile up <laughs> third one, five five cars <laughs> out in the left one. Yeah, that's so sad. You lose a point, but we got an exciting race. Hopefully, I, I wouldn't be against like like I mean, imagine like George qualifies in P three and then just like goes full throttle turn one into Max. I wouldn't be against that. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah. funny. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's the type of stuff we seen before i guess yeah um i don't know if you'll allow this but if i would go for extra prediction as hamilton beats russell in all competitive sessions that means both qualifying yeah, and yeah, the race yeah. right because right. right. if you think about the head-to-heads like russell leads eight to one in, in qualifying and like seven to two in the races so yeah, it's pretty one-sided i i, I actually want to go for this um uh, Um, yeah, great, great, great shit, great shit. 
actually wanted to use the ampersand symbol, but I actually forgot how it's, <laughs> how it's made on the keyboard. If you, if you know the keybind, you can tell me. Uh, uh, I don't. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, use, a, use a comma. That's a, that's a better one. All right. Um, okay. we, yep, perfect. We're done within half an hour. Uh, in great timing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're, we're, pretty, we're expecting a boring race, so anything better than that is actually good. Sure. So, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're, you know, we're yeah. it's, it's a win win scenario. Either we get a boring race and we get a lot of points, or we get a exciting race and lose points. So, win win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, any, any last thoughts? No, uh, I hope we have fun. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully a good Grand Prix, even though we don't think that it will happen. Anyways, um, hopefully, yeah, um, we can get a exciting reaction to the Grand Prix next week. And until then, um, we'll, 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 we will not see you, but hopefully, um, uh, okay, I, I, I am just so bad in at outros. <laughs> All right, uh, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Peace, peace. Good. <laughs>